Hey everyone, AJ here from Whole Latte Love. Super automatic bean to cup espresso machines make cafe quality coffee drinks at the push of a button. Enjoy quick and convenient coffee and milk based espresso beverages like lattes, cappuccinos, flat whites and more in your home. In this encore presentation, Mark and I compare a couple of the best values in the business, the Gaja Magenta and Cadorna line of machines. You'll see how they work as we make drinks, pour a little latte art, and find out which of these 4.5 out of 5 star reviewed machines best fits your style. And during the premiere of this encore presentation, we'll be live in the comments to answer any questions you have on these Gaja machines or other coffee and espresso products or techniques. Before we get to the video, a reminder that Whole Latte Love has the best selection of everything coffee and espresso. Plus our experts, they are passionate. They'll get you the advice and products you need. And the shopping experience at Whole Latte Love? Check it out, many of the products in 3D and augmented reality so you can see it on your countertop before you buy. And if you want to stand out from the crowd, use our customizer to add unique colors or wood components on select machines to create one that's your very own. Plus, you can bundle products for automatic savings and go to the sale page at Whole Latte Love for special Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals going on now. With that out of the way, here's a comparison of the Magenta and Cadorna machines by Gaja, both superb values in super automatic bean to cup espresso machines. Hey, coffee lovers, Mark and AJ here from Whole Latte Love. And AJ, we've got five machines here. What do you, what's over by you? Yeah, so I've got two new Gaja Magenta models here. We've got the Magenta Prestige first, and then the Magenta Plus right next to that. And then what do you have over there? I have three Cadornas. Now, the Cadornas, they've been out for a little while. In yep. fact, this, this very machine, this has been our daily driver here in the studio. So I'm using this three, four times a day. And yeah. so are some other guys. Uh, we've been using this about seven months now. Now, they're very similar, right? But a lot of similarities, a couple differences, and we'll go through. We, we uh, Mark posted a video last week about the Magenta Prestige and got a bunch of comments asking, what's the difference between this and the Cadorna? So we're gonna go through the similarities, differences, why you would pick one over the other. Right, so we'll go through it. We're gonna make a drink at least on each machine. Yep. We're gonna finish up. I gotta put you on the spot a little bit. Uh, we're gonna do some manual frothing on the Cadorna Barista Plus over yep. here. You are. I will, I'll do my best. <laughs> I'm gonna get a camera in close so we can see how you do. Uh, really fun machine. But let's start right over here. And as the drinks are going, we'll kind of go through some of the features and, and what's different here. So. Let's go. All right, this is the uh, Gaja Magenta Prestige. You know that because it has a milk carafe with it. Um, it's also got this little hot water spout. If you want to dispense hot water, uh, your carafe can come out. This can go right in that same port. But we're gonna leave the milk carafe in. This is nice too, because when you're done, you can just pull it out and store it in the fridge. For now though, I'm just going to uh, put that little spout out and we're going to brew a uh, flat white today. So if I click flat white on my nice little cut color touchscreen display here, I can program the amount of coffee, the amount of milk, the coffee temperature, and the strength all from this display. And I've got my coffee and milk both at 2.7 ounces. That sounds good to me. Let's take our temperature all the way up to high and our coffee strength also all the way up to high. We have five strengths on that. Yep, five strengths. There's also five grind settings inside, which are under a flap here. Uh, inside the bean hopper. So I'll press play on that, which starts your brewing. It shows it on the screen. It starts grinding. And we call these one-touch machines because they do it all. Yeah, you hear <laughs> one-touch, you'll hear super automatic as opposed to the different kind of semi-automatic machines. These have a built-in grinder. They'll do it all for you automatically. So water goes in top here. Yep. Water um, on this side in a re uh, reservoir, you can fill it at the machine or take that out and bring it to the sink and fill it. Uh, and then on the other side is your bean hopper. You also have a, uh, a little trap door yep. there for a bypass doser in case you want to use pre-ground coffee if you're making decaf or something like that. Now, it just brewed a shot of espresso and it's, this is going to be a true double shot flat white, something not a lot of machines do. You got to pay a lot more money than this to usually get a machine that does that. Yeah, so that 2.7 ounces of espresso that we programmed in at the beginning, it's going to produce that through two different grind cycles. It's gonna grind, tamp, and brew twice, each with 1.35 ounces mm -hmm. to uh, give you that true double shot. And you can change these over to milliliters if you want, if you prefer to, sure. to go that way. 
Uh, you know, and I just got to show you while this is brewing, where's, where's my prop? Oh, there it is. <laughs> you know, if you're doing these things, don't, right? Yeah. <laughs> the pre ground in a capsule, this is so much better ground fresh. And, uh, and it costs a lot less usually too. Yeah. You know, it depends on what coffee you're using, but a lot less than these, which can run 50, 75 cents, some of the name brands, even a buck. Yeah, That's the cost crazy. of these bean to cup one touch machines maybe a little more upfront, yeah. but over the long term, you're drinking one, two, three, four, five of these a day. It's going to pay for itself pretty quickly. So right now the machine is heating up to get our milk froth going for the flat white. And something we're seeing here is the espresso first and then the milk. Yep. Used to be, you know, if you go back a few years, most every machine always did the milk first, then the espresso. So flat whites weren't a thing. And this, but the machine will flip the prep order based on the type of drink being made. Right. right. So if I'm making a cappuccino, it's going to do my milk first and then my espresso. Same with uh, latte macchiato. But for the flat white, and I believe the cafe au lait, it'll be uh, the espresso and then the milk. And there you go. There's our beautiful flat white. Enjoy. Now, we were going to take a look at another thing we like with the craft here, right? Yeah, so right after this, it's asking me if I want to save those settings that I just used. Sure, we'll save that for next time. Uh, so then it'll have my strength and temperature. Now it's asking if I want to do a quick carafe clean. I'll just say yes. It says put a container under the spouts. So that's going to run hot water through, right? Like yep. it's doing? Yep. With you milk can, in the carafe. With milk in the carafe, you can leave this attached. It's just cycling hot water through the nozzle, through the spout to clean that out. Then I can just go take this off and put it in my fridge. It's clean for next time. That's, that's wonderful. It does do deeper cleaning too, and you can get into the menus at any time and do those quick rinses. Yep. So let's move over here. Um, this is the uh, Magenta. Yes, kind of, Magenta kind of, Plus. The Magenta Plus. So this one's cheaper than this one. So we have the frothing arm here. We're going to do some manual frothing over on this one yep. in a minute. So we're not going to show you that there, but kind of cool here. Um, you can do two coffee drinks on any of, these, any of these machines. It also has this little platform. We're going to do a couple shots of espresso to show you that it can do two. And again, on Gaja machines, when you're doing two coffee beverages, it always grinds twice for those. So you're not just putting more water through the coffee. So I'll select my espresso there. I like these settings here. I'm at 1.5 uh, ounces, high temp, full strength, because I like it strong. Um, to get two, I just hit the button up here. We get two uh, cups in the display and hit start, and away we go. So you're going to see it's going to, it'll grind twice. Uh, give us a couple of nice espressos. I love the little platform here. It's got a rubber uh, on it. Yeah, so your cups don't slide around or scratch or anything. What I like about this is each grind cycle will fill it halfway, and then the next one will fill it the other half. So if you're used to, Let's say sometimes you only want to use one of these cups and you're making it an ounce and a half and you fill it to a certain point. By putting two cups in and selecting the two cycle, it's going to fill to that same point on both classes just through two cycles. Right. So, but true, true actual double shots. You get a yep. full dose. Now, dosing on these is six and a half to an 11 and a half grams of coffee used per grind cycle. So you'd use your strength setting to do that. Mm -hmm. um, so we're getting a shot made basically from an 11 and a half gram dose in these. Right. Now you could certainly do a, a double, you know, if you want to go up to, you know, you can go right up to 23 grams uh, with a single button press if you like those, and that would be like a triple shot, actually more. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> but, a lot of But coffee. you can do it, and obviously you can do less as well. And I know I sometimes do that over on this machine for, I like the flat whites. It's one mm -hmm. of my favorite milk drinks. And I like, I like a really coffee forward beverage. I'm not too into the really milky lattes. Sure. But if you are, that's cool. We can do those too. Um, and that's beautiful. So the coffee right? we have in here, we've yeah. got a couple different things. In this, these machines, we've got the whole Latte Love Crema Wave. Uh, this is a new, a new bean that we just put out in association with Joe Beans Roaster. They're a local roaster here. And tell us a little about Crema Wave, because you this, drink this all the time. <laughs> yeah, it uses all specialty beans, which is not typical at all, because it's, it's an Italian style bean blend similar uh, but a, a cut above like a Lavazza Super Crema or something. They, they don't use all specialty beans. All specialty beans, it's roasted right down the road from us, right? So it's going to be yeah. a heck of a lot fresher um, and, and really good. So those are the magentas. Um, let's go over, we, we were going to do Yeah, the... let's do the, so this is the Cadorna milk. Mm -hmm. It's got this little milk slide, we like to call it here. You'll see why in a second. And let's brew a cappuccino on that. So I've got my cup here. And I'll go into the menu. Actually, cappuccino's right on the front page here. Um, and one thing that differentiates these from the magentas. On the magenta, you've got one set of settings for all of your, your drinks. On the right. Cadornas, you can save four different user profiles. 
So if I go to my favorites, I've got four different people here to choose from. I usually personally store my drinks in the little blue heart. I go red. <laughs> so, so we don't mix up if we right. have different settings. So I go in the blue heart, I press cappuccino. This has all my settings saved from last time. If I want to change them or look at them, I can go to edit. I see I've got two ounces of coffee, eight ounces of milk. I know that'll probably fill this cup pretty well. Full temperature, full beans. Press play and that's going to start brewing. So like on the magentas, when it did the espresso first and then the milk, now it's going to do the milk first and then the espresso. And a couple other differences here. Um, we have just a little more spout clearance. So you can actually fit this 16 ounce Camelback under the spouts um, on both of the, on any of the Cadornas here. Yeah. Can't quite get this under on the other, on the other, uh, on the magentas over there. Yep. Um, also 10 grind settings in the grinder up here. Still have that bypass doser if you want to do the decaf occasionally. Um, so these you, machines are a little wider, a little bit bigger, yeah. a little bulkier, but they have higher capacities too. Um, and also, so your your water goes in the front over on the magentas. It was up over the top. Yep. Um, so height's going to be a thing. I mean, I love how narrow the magentas are. Yeah. These are a little wider. Um, these also have a little cup tray up yeah. top. You can put your cups up there. It's kind of passively heated. It's not going to keep them super hot, but it's it's nice for storage. So in this pretty good example, with a cappuccino on this machine, we're getting the milk first, and then it's going to be the espresso. Yep. And if I see that this is filling too much, you can always stop at mid-cycle too. Right. And, and then it'll ask you if you want to save it and whatnot. But I, I think we're going to be pretty good there. I had, what, two ounces of uh, espresso going on top of this or three, I don't remember. Yeah. But it should fill it pretty nicely. And you see you're going to get a, like a classic cappuccino presentation here. Um, as the coffee settles in, we have an airier level of froth up top. Yep. You know, I might give this a, a little stir when it was done, just a little bit, but you want that cap. That's what the cappuccino is, that cap of foam over the drink keeps it nice and hot. Sure. So the drink is finishing up, it's telling me to enjoy. It's giving me the option to do that milk clean. Same process as on the other thing. It'll run some hot water through your, uh, your spout here and keep everything nice and sanitary. I can take this nice, did we talk about the Oh no, glass? we didn't. So that one actually, this is coming soon. So a little sneak peek. Yeah. Um, we will have these up soon. This is an actual glass container. So it keeps things colder maybe a little bit longer. This is the uh, container that comes with the machine. So you can use this. To, honestly, you can stick this tube right into a carton of milk if you want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's all just your preference, but you could take this out, put it in the fridge, keep it cold for next time. Yeah, and that's really handy, right? If you just mm -hmm. want to get one in the morning, get out, get put it away and go. And these machines also shut off automatically. You don't have to worry about turning them off, ranging 15 minutes to three hours. It'll automatically turn itself off. Yeah, and it'll run a milk cycle before it, or uh, sorry, not a milk cycle, a rinse cycle a before rinse. it turns off. So if you did brew a drink, it'll rinse out your spouts and just into your drip tray. You don't need a, a cup on there or anything, but just keeps things clean for next time. You know, and if you like it big, we're going to go over here to the Cordona, Cadorna, excuse Cadorna. me, Prestige. <laughs> Um, so this one, again, it's got that spout clearance. I'm gonna, this also has a couple extra drinks on it. Again, if you want a lot of details on the machines, we'll link specific videos, we'll give you a lot more. Um, this one has 14 beverages. Um, what I've done, and I'll just go through them here real quick. So you have a Latte Macchiato XL, a Cappuccino XL, you've got the flat white, you've got everything. So this one does have it all. Um, but I did pre-program in my favorites, under the red, a Oh, I went by it there. The Latte, nope, it is one more. There it is, Latte Macchiato XL. Um, so this is the one I'm gonna do. Now I can just start it right now. I do, I'm just gonna confirm. So I've got about three ounces of coffee, 10.8 ounces of the milk that's gonna go in into this cup right here. So we're gonna take that spout out. Again, you get hot water out of these. Um, this, and this pitcher is a little higher, a little bigger than the one over on the magenta. So we'll plug that in, we'll put our cup under, and hit start. Now on the macchiato again, we're gonna do the milk first, mm -hmm. um, and then it'll do the espresso. You see how it's grinding first, so it's, it's kind of heating things up for the milk while it's doing that grinding, it's so it'll ready, do it a, yeah. a little quicker. Um, a little nicer on the Prestige model here, you notice the front's a little, it's got a nicer material on the front than some of the other ones. Um, we do have also, you can't see it right now, but we have a metal. Uh, on the passive surface up here, and it's, it's a little warm. It'll warm your cup yeah. up on a cold morning. Not, again, not too much, but here comes our milk. So one drink that we're not showing on all these, but I really like on all of these machines is the One Touch Americano. Oh yeah. And it's a feature of the Magentas and all the Cadornas. 
where you press you press Americano, it'll brew your espresso and then brew your hot water, as opposed to a long coffee or some other machines where it just pulls water through your grounds the whole time. Yeah, and all these machines, you can get just a regular coffee out of there, regular yep. size, you know, like drip size coffee. But I really, I like the Americanos I do too. too. Yeah. That's usually what I'm making on this multiple times a day is Americano, which, you know, it's gonna be a pure coffee flavor. Yeah. Especially coming from the fresh, freshly ground beans in there where you're just putting hot water over the top. It's what, it's what a lot of people really like. The guys yeah. who really like coffee like Americanos. I like it because you get the tastes and the flavors and the nuances of the espresso, but kind of spread out over a longer period of time where I can drink it for 10 minutes, 20 minutes and not have to just down a shot real quick. Yeah, it is. It is nice. Oh, and these these brew nice and hot. Yeah, you'll see in the in the videos that I just done on the uh, Magenta Prestige, and they all brew coffee the same way internally, mm -hmm. have the same dosing, um, but they brew really hot. I was up around you know 190 coming out of the spouts, which is good and hot. As I I've said a few times in some videos, one of the few machines these guys these models that I'll turn down from high to medium every mm -hmm. once in a while. I yeah, and then really of course hot. with the the other models we'll show you in a second with the manual frothing, you have full control over how hot you make yeah. your milk. And we have recommendations, of course, but you could go much hotter if you really prefer. And there's that macchiato XL. It's got that you know that split presentation. Yep, right nice there. layers. Like that a lot. Um, again, I get the option to clean the uh, the uh, uh, pitcher right now yep. if I want by just perfect, and I get that any time, and then it's ready to go right back in the fridge. But Let's get over to the main event, yep. right? And see if uh, put so this the, is, yeah, this is, on the spot. This is the Cadorna Barista Plus with the manual wand. We'll froth some milk manually, pour a latte art, but uh, I gotta go get some milk first. All right, so. now I'm gonna get a camera so I can get you in close. All right, so All right. got some milk. Now I'll get so, in close so we can see what really happens here, right? Yeah, so I'm using a Bruista pitcher here today. It's a 16 ounce frothing pitcher. And what I like about this is it has this little decal on the side, which you can't really see anything on there now. But as I'm frothing, this is actually a temperature gauge that you'll see the temperature rise up as it gets hotter. Um, you can do it by feel with your hand too, but that gives you a nice uh, visual sense of how hot your milk is. So for this latte, I'm gonna pour about six ounces of milk in here. I know that that generally brings me up kind of right under the, the bottom of the spout in there. I've got my cup up here, which I'll put on this little tray, just like how the Magentas had the pop-up tray. This one pulls out. I can bring my spouts down to get nice and close and preserve that crema. And I'm going to brew, I have my little blue preset with an espresso, and brew that. So you'll have to do the brewing and then the steaming separately, one at a time. I prefer to brew first and then steam. I'll show you a couple tricks that I like to do uh, while I'm steaming. If you want, if you've never manually frothed before and you're like, oh, I'm just gonna pour latte art. It's a lot harder than it looks. It takes a <laughs> lot of practice. I've been practicing for a couple years at this point. Uh, and I've got a nice video on your, the beginner tips for how to get into that too, that I'll put a link down in the video description. Uh, but right now we're gonna start brewing our espresso. And this is like a good machine with the manual frothing wand. Mm -hmm. This is a good machine if you know mostly doing coffee or you want to be the weekend barista or you just really want to get your you know milk textured just exactly the way you want it. Yeah, so I ha actually have this machine at home in my kitchen. As I put this aside, I'm going to start this steaming process right away and I'll show you a little trick. Um, because just like on most machines with manual wands, there's a little water condensation that builds up in the steam wand that I want to purge first. So before I start steaming my milk, I'm just gonna press the steam button, press start, and it's telling me that my steam is heating right now. And you'll see, a, once you'll hear it clicking, and then you'll see a little burst of water come out. You could let that go into your milk pitcher if you don't mind a little extra water, but I, I like purging onto, a, wet, or onto a, a rag so that later I can clean my wand with that same rag, it's already wet. So right when it purges here, I'm just gonna press stop, and that'll get me all, all ready to go without that extra water. There we go, purge? all purged. And then I'm immediately just gonna start steaming again. It'll take less time this time to heat up because you're already pretty much at temperature. And then right when that starts, so I'm just gonna lower my tip or lower my pitcher just a little to get that tip right at the surface so you hear that, that ripping sound from the milk. Let that go a little bit right until I start feeling the pitcher start to get warm. And you can do this by feel, right? But Yeah. Well, you've got that little decal on the side that'll show me. Uh, yeah, this will be, you'll start to feel like it warm. And then right when you feel that barrier tip, you'll stop hearing that rip. 
and you'll, you still want that nice uh, vortex, that kind of spiral of milk going around. And this, you know this is done when it's pretty much reaching the point of being too hot to hold. When that finishes, just like you purged water at the beginning, you're going to want to wipe the wand down and purge water at the end too, just to clean out any milk residue that gets stuck in there maybe so it doesn't dry on. We're getting pretty close to done here. So I'm going to stop that real quickly, wipe my wand. Then I like pressing hot water. Um, it doesn't have to heat up to steam temperature. It's already pretty much there, but just purged a little out so you're purged. Now the my... moment of truth. Yeah, we'll see if nope, I'm no on pressure. the spot here. <laughs> So let's see if I can pour something. Not too bad at it's all. Not too bad. I mean, I've seen you do a lot better, but I've that's... had better, but it, I think it'll work for this dem the demonstration. It shows that the machine can handle it, even if it's not my personal best pour. But uh, I think that that's uh, the capabilities of the the Cadorna Barista Plus. Again, so if you want to, you know, if you really want to get to a, a really fine milk texture, try the latte art. These machines with the manual wands are, the, are can get you there. Yeah. Or if yeah. you like the milk super hot, I know some people really want it hot. Or we we really like it around one forty ish, right? Yeah. Fahrenheit um, for the best flavor. That's where milk is its sweetest. But you could go a lot hotter with these. You can also, if you if you want to do a cappuccino or latte macchiato, you can do that as well, adding. Uh, injecting the air for longer into the drink so it becomes more foamy. You get that layer of, of foam on top. And you've got a great video on the whole technique right yep. through for beginners, getting right through to latte art pouring and kind of following even your steps as you learned how to do yeah, it, right? Yeah, and again, I'll have that link down in the description so you can you can watch so, that. So, very cool. So again, so real quick, so we got the Gaja Magentas over here. Yep. Um, the one-touch machine. Little smaller, little narrower. Maybe not as many drink options on the Prestige compared to the Cadorna Prestige. Um, top loading uh, for your water and your beans. And then over on the Cadornas. On the Cadornas, you got you got a little more clearance on the spout, so you can get that really big travel mug under there. You know, I like to go with a big cup of coffee in the morning, so I appreciate that a lot. Um, front loading water. Yep. Um, five more grind settings, so you can be a little bit more particular with your grind. Maybe a little nicer finish on here. Oh, and the user preset. So, you know, if you're single or maybe two people, this these are a really good option, especially, you know, if you have a smaller place. Um, if you have multiple users, um, I know we all have our presets on here because yep. this is the one we've been using every day for seven months. Yeah, don't touch my blue heart. I, I, I don't, don't touch my red. <laughs> yep. Okay. And Austin, what do you do? I use the blue, too. You, oh, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're in trouble. Okay. Anyhow, if you have any questions on the Gaja Magentas uh, or the Cadornas, we'd be happy to help you out, AJ and I, down in the comments. So do use those. Yep. Um, what do we always tell people when we're done? Uh, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and come back for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love. Thanks for watching, guys.